Hi, it's Gwen Fox, and I'm glad that you're here. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. We would love to have you. Now, today I'm going to do a demo because I think demos are really, really important for everybody just to see how another artist starts, works through, and so forth. So I start my paintings generally this way. Now, there are times that I start and I just go for it. I don't have a, anything in mind. But that's not what I'm going to do this time. This time, it's it's the way I normally do it. I'm going to use a thumbnail sketch. Now, you will see that I'm going to show you two thumbnail sketches. I have this one, and then I have this one. This one is the one I'm going to do. You will notice that it's not very detailed. I have merely put in my design. My design is, it's, it's an abstract, and I'm going to then decide what colors I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use red, black, neutrals, the whole bit. But I wanted to make sure that my center of interest was very, very prominent. It wasn't going to be in the center. It was going to be where I wanted it to be. And so that is very, that's number one. That's what you think about is where is my center of interest? Now, I, I can hear you saying, but, but I don't do a center of interest. Mine's an all over painting. Hey, that's fine. It doesn't matter. If it's an all over painting, you just keep doing what you're doing. But this is the one way that I'm going to show today how to do it. Now, then how do I transfer this to the canvas? This is a 30 by 30 canvas that I, well, it's actually a cradle board. But how do I do that? Well, I do that many, many ways. In the, in, but today, I'm going to do it in a way that, hey, I've done it for years. And that is, I'm going to use charcoal. And I'm going to use square charcoal. Square charcoal, to me, is much better than willow. Willow gives this, and I'm going to say this, this wimpy line that doesn't have any personality. And so you want to make sure that your drawing, even your drawing, has personality. So I will use the edge and I mean the edge of this, not the end, not the flat part. I can use the flat part, but I will use the edge. And now, why do I do charcoal? It's because it gives a calligraphic line. And that line is so important to the sensuality and to the depth of the painting. So this is how I start. Now, what if I wanted to use a brush? What if I wanted to put it on with uh, let's just say a, a color, a light color, and I wanted to, to do this because drawing it on for me gives me uh, a, a, a path. It's a roadmap. It's, a, it's what I'm going to use to make sure that my, my entire painting is going to work. I know where the, the shapes are going to be. I know the colors ahead of time. So um, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw this on for you, and then I'm going to show you how I finish it. Because when I draw, I can hear it now saying, but it's going to smudge. Yes, it might if I didn't spray it. So here is my charcoal, and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw this on because this is so important for me to know what my design is. And it's important to you. I'm going to move my stool here. And here is my, I don't want this to come down in the center. You notice that I've got plenty of space here. So I'm going to probably come here. I will have a shape there, but I'm going to go down. I want to make sure that I don't end this in the center, so I will end it there. And then I'll come down a little bit here, 
this this shape. I'm very loose. I'm not not even really doing a lot of uh, planning as far as oh I can change this. Look at this. This is going to be so cool. I love it. Let's see. Maybe we'll do this. Now, do you see how the lines are more calligraphic? They're, it's not like this. It's you take the edge and you can go. You can go like that. It's fabulous. I love it. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go spray this. And uh, I've got to spray it with a fixative or matte medium. And then it will stay, but then it won't smear. And that's what we don't want the smear because it's going to cause a lot of mud. So I'll be right back and we will start. Okay, I'm back and I've sprayed it. You always want to spray it outside because it's very toxic. So spray it outside, let it dry. This is dry. Now you can see I can put my hand over this. My figure, oh, my dog is drinking water, so that's what you hear. <laughs> this is live. <laughs> but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take things like the, uh, this is a water-soluble graphite, and I'm just going to make lines everywhere. It doesn't matter. I'm going to take a carpenter's pencil. Why? I just think that this shows up underneath everything. You know, I'm even going to take some pastels. Will they, will they, will they, they smear? Yeah, they will. But I'm going to have this color underneath. I kind of like that color. I'll do a blue, too. I like the blue. You know, it's really interesting how we change in everything. I didn't used to love blue so much. Now, can't seem to get enough of it. I love it. Now, this is just a... Uh, just a dark pencil, very dark. And I'm just gonna put some more lines. Now that will smear. Now let's get some Stabilos. I, I know what you're thinking. My gosh, she's messing up that whole thing. You're right, I am, aren't I? But it sure is fun. I mean, if th if this doesn't loosen you up, nothing will. Nothing will. And let's just see. There's a turquoise. I don't want that. I've already got that in there. Let's just try this, and then we'll be over. We've got a lot of blue, though. Let's do this color. Now, do I start out every one of my paintings like this? No, I don't. I don't. I think it's important to mess around and see what, uh, what you can come up with. I think I have enough on there. This looks purple. No, it just has purple paint on it. No, it is purple. My goodness, had no idea I had that. All right, I'm done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint. And I'm going to paint in oil. Because to me, oil is just the best. I, I love the buttery consistency of it. I love everything about oil. Now I'm just taking some um, Gamsol and I'm putting it over this. Messing it up even more. See, my lines here are not, they're not moving. 
they're not moving. But everything else is. Now let's say that, hey, you know what? I don't like that. I don't like how it looks. Quite frankly, I do. I think it's, I think it's really pretty. But what you can do is you can rub off. get a whole different feel for it. You can rub this and make it whatever. And then you come in and you say, okay, I'm ready to paint. I think this is awesome. This is gonna be so much fun. I am not even gonna wait for it to dry. I want to start painting. So now, what am I going to use as color? I'm going to use black, and other colors, of course, underneath it. And asphaltum. I'm going to use transparent orange. And then this part is going to be red. This is going to be neutrals. There's going to be some color out there. This will be black. This will be black. This will be black. And note, when I say black, I don't mean just solid black. I mean, I've got colors underneath it. I want some orange underneath. This transparent, it's a transparent color. So I want, I'm using a squeegee because I love using the squeegee. And I probably should have let this dry because it's really, it's really going to make a mess. So I guess I'd better let it dry. Darn, I want it to, I want to get going on this because I'm excited. So let's, let's let this dry. And in the next video, we're going to dig into this and have the best time ever. And I will see you in that video. Take care. Leave your comments below. By the way, if you've got questions, put them below. I personally answer all of them. So Put your comments below. See you in the next video. Bye.